Where are we going? So my favorite release of 2019 was The Lost Boy by YBN Corday. It has bangers that anybody can listen to, but it also has like the slow uh, interlude songs that show the come up of Corday. My favorite release of the year was Knock Loose is a Different Shade of Blue. I think it's the best hardcore release of the year. Uh, it really revitalized the whole scene, I think, and it's cool to see hardcore going up in the charts again. My favorite release of this year was Heard It in a Past Life by Maggie Rogers. It's a really cool mix between folk music and dance music, and I really like how it's um, poppy, but it's still got that cool so singer-songwriter element to it. So my album of the year is Heart to Mouth by LP. Uh, it came out in around February, and I actually got to see her with my sister. It was super, super fun. Uh, I actually got to surprise her with like VIP meet and greets. So like we got there and you know gave her her pass. I was like, you know what this is? She's like, what? Like, you want to go meet her? She's like, what? And it was just like the whole album just like brought about such like good good vibes for me. So it was it was a good one. My favorite album of the year is Ginger by Brockhampton. It's a really cool um, new album by them because I've been following them for a few months and it shows a really different style inside of them. There's a lot more slower songs and a lot of themes of like brotherhood and toxic relationships and it's really awesome. My favorite album this year was The One by Gone to White Knight. I really like it because it's really dark and grimy but it's it's just classic dubstep. My favorite release of 2019 was Future's short album Save Me. I believe it's only seven tracks but it's packed with a lot of fun. My favorite album this year would have to be uh, fandom by Waterparks. I think they presented a new sound, but it wasn't too different that it felt forced. My album of the year is Insignificant Others. I'm so glad I feel this way about you because all the songs are so different and he doesn't love an album with a reprise. Wait, what do I say? I think no. I guess. <laughs> do I say my name? Dubstep's not dead. Oh god, I hate, I hate <laughs> that. I don't even know what I'm gonna say then.